Hey guys, that's place here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make um fully blender animations like I've done on my video. There's a little widget up there that you'll be able to see if you want to see an example of that full blender animation. Um now first of all, if you're wondering how I've got my character in here, there's going to be in the comments a video on how to insert a character into Blender and make a GFX, but you just want to you just want to only follow the part of inserting the character, getting their hats in, and all of that. You also want to have those, the head attachment thing working. Uh, that is also going to be showcased in the tutorial in the description. Uh, give that guy who made the video a like because, yeah, you know, he deserves it, man. I I'm I'm almost stealing his tutorial here, but this this is going to be for animation instead. So. Uh, first of all, you're going to notice that if you go to animation and you try and make an animation with uh, this rig that is... Yeah, so you're going to make the animation like this and you're going to realize, wait, if I was doing it on the other rig, the other blend rig, it, normally it would have like a long pop-up, but here it doesn't. And you're like, whoa, why is that? Why does the animation not even work? Well, that's pretty normal. You want to press this thing. Press this thing. Go to keying. Location and rotation, just like in the other tutorial. And now it's actually going to work a little bit better. Because you can see the keyframes. Now, our next problem here is, well, um... There's a keyframes for the arm, but you can see that when I click off of the arm, it's not there anymore. That's going to be annoying, but I have luckily found a fix. And now, and you want to go on this little mouse thing right here. Yep. Boom. Click on that, and now it's actually going to work. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so now, from here on out, you can make your really goofy animation. Uh, just like if you were doing it on, like if you were doing it on uh, just the usual thing, the, the usual thing, like on the animation I've showed before, I mean, on the video I've showed before, and just make your animation. Obviously, mine's a little goofy, but hey, it works, it's pretty cool, it's pretty neat. You can totally add some things to make the animation look smoother and stuff. And there you go, you have your animation. Now you're wondering, how do I export it? So, exporting, pretty easy, just like the GFX thing. So, you want to press on this little globe thing here. And you want to go on this, on the box here. There's going to be scene thingy. And normally it's going to be on Eve, EV, whatever. And you go on cycles. And now it's actually, it's actually going to work. Awesome. Pretty awesome. So I'm going to make this animation much shorter, like really quick. And then all you need to do now, set up the camera as if you were going to do a normal animation, I mean, a normal GFX, like in the video that is in the comments. And now that you've got the cameras, the camera set up, it's going to, you're going to have the animation right here, right? So, there you go. That's your quick animation. And also, just if you aren't aware, to move the actual camera, you can actually keyframe it, so it can go like this, down, like this, so you can go something like this. Also, if you're wondering, how to go into the camera, you can press zero on your keyboard, and it's going to be there. So that's how your final animation is going to look. Well, obviously for me, which is not the best animation, but hey, it's still something and something is proud. You should be proud of something, you know? I don't know where this is going. But hey, 
you got your animation up. It looks pretty decent. And now that you've got your animation, you can go to render, render animation. And now it's going to render every frame. Uh, obviously here, I'm not on cycles. So if you want a really high quality uh, render animation, you want to press this. Oh yeah, one last thing. When you're going to be rendering your video, you want to go to film. If you want it to be transparent, you can go to film transparent. So that the background is going to be transparent. So for example, I don't know, green screen, whatever that crap is that you want. I don't know. You have it. And then the next thing you can do is like, you can go over to... Oh yeah, you go over to this little printer thing, and that little output thing, file format, you want to change to whatever you want. There's a lot of things here, you can, well, usually I would use, I think I use AVI JPEG, which is like a video. And then you can choose where you want this to be. Uh, yep. Go to render, render animation, and it's going to slowly and painfully render every frame of your animation. I'm too lazy to actually um, do this because you can see 1%, it's really slow. But if you have a very strong computer, unlike me, uh, you'll be able to probably get uh, a render uh, animation on Blender pretty quickly. So, yeah. As you can see, it says frame 2, and it's going to basically do every frame one by one. So yeah, that's a quick tutorial on how to... Okay, maybe not quick, but there, there you go. That's a tutorial on how to make blend animations. Oh yeah, and that, that happens. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.